What's Crackling Codelets? In this video, I'm going to show you how to source a SQL file when you're using MySQL inside of your Gorm IDE container. So the first thing we want to do is get the MySQL service started. So that's going to be a sudo service MySQL start command. And once that is done, then you want to open up MySQL. And so I removed the password for mine. If you do have a password, it would be MySQL-P, and then you'd be prompted for your password. So I removed mine, all I have to do is type in MySQL. All right, now inside of MySQL, we would want to source a file. Well, we don't have a file created, so let's go ahead and do that. Up here inside of the main container uh, workspace, whatever you want to call it, folder here, we're going to right click and create a new file. And I'm just going to name it test.sql and click OK. And so it opens up test.sql up here in the code editor. And we're going to make it do something really simple. So we'll just say drop if exists, or sorry, drop database if exists, and then we'll call it test underscore app. So drop database if exists, test app. So it's going to drop test app, the database, if it exists. And then what it's going to do is create database test app. And then it's going to use test app. And as simple as that. We're not going to worry about creating any tables or anything like that. So let's go ahead and save this. Make sure you save it. You can go to File and click Save, or you can do Control S or Command S. If you're on Mac, it's Command. If you're on PC, it's Control. And back over here in the MySQL shell, now we want to run this test.sql file. Now, mind you, it's inside of GORM dash IDE dash test. And you don't know it by just looking at it, but that's inside of the workspace directory. So to show you what I'm talking about, I'm going to click on window, new terminal window. And if I do, well, actually, it shows you right here, forward slash workspace, forward slash GORM IDE, GORM IDE dash test. And if we do a PWD command, present working directory, it'll do the same thing. It'll show you forward slash workspace, forward slash GORM IDE test. So you may be wondering, okay, if we go back up one directory and we ls, here's the workspace. It only has one folder inside of it. And that folder is our container folder that has all this junk. Now if we go back one more, that forward slash denotes root. So root, if you ls, is going to have all this Ubuntu stuff inside of it. Now this isn't stuff that you want to mess with. So you're going to want to go back to your workspace. And then from there, you're, you're going to want to go back into the GORM folder. So we can clear all this out, control L, and now we're back up in here. Okay, so that tells us that when we're inside of MySQL, we should be able to source one of two ways, depending on which folder you ran the MySQL command from. Now you'll notice I ran MySQL up here from forward slash workspace forward slash gorm IDE test. So if I have a file named test.sql, I should be able to just run source test.sql. Before we do any of that, let's show databases and you'll notice I do not have a test app database. Now let's run source test.sql. And this is good news. When you see query OK and then query OK, one row affected, blah, 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 database changed, that's, that's great. We're not seeing any errors. It's not telling us that it can't find the file. And all we had to do is run source test.sql. And so now when I show databases, you'll see we have test app. Awesome. Now. If you are in a different folder, one of these other folders, and you run MySQL, then you may have difficulty figuring out the exact path to get back to the file that you're trying to run. And what I mean is, if you need to, you can run an explicit path, the entire full path from root all the way up to the file. And so let me show you what I'm talking about. If we do source, and we start at root, and we work our way forward down into workspace, and then down into GORM dash IDE dash test, and then from within inside of there, we locate that test.sql file. That's going to be the full explicit path. And so if we hit enter, again, it works properly. And again, if we were to show databases, we would see test app. So that's working properly. So just know when you exit the MySQL shell, whichever folder you're in currently, when you run the MySQL command, is the folder where you will be referencing from when you run the source command. And so if that test.sql file lives inside of GORM IDE test and you opened up MySQL from GORM IDE test, then all you have to do is source test.sql. Again, if you were to open it up from some other directory, let's say we exit 
and I CD into something like data. And now I go and I open up my SQL. And now I run source test.sql. Uh-oh, failed to open file. And that's because we're no longer in GORMID test, we're inside of data. And so what you could do is source dot dot forward slash test.sql. Now you're telling it to go up one directory and look for test.sql. Great, that worked. But if you have no idea where you are in relation to test.sql, you can always do the simple start from root, go into workspace, go into your container folder, and then go to the file that you want to open. And if there's a folder that it's inside of, then you would need to put the folder first as well. So we run it, it works properly. We can exit sudo service MySQL stop. Now our MySQL service has stopped and we're ready to hit that like button and subscribe with notifications. Thanks a lot and we'll catch you in the next video.